We bought everything, the house, its contents, the car, and the overgrown yard. Before renovations can begin, it's up to us to sort it all out. All right, so I'm gonna be cleaning out this room today. Some crates here we wanna keep, this folding chair, which is, oh, what? Oh man, there's a whole family of them up there. Can you see them? I can see them. There's the snake when you need it. I guess we better come back with some traps. Just got to the house for day three and we met the neighbor across the street finally. Yeah, we've knocked on his door a couple times and no one answered and um he was super cool, super excited. He actually wanted to come in with, with us, but we were like, not without a respirator. Yeah, and so he said he'll wait. taking that liability on. But he said we can go in and see his house sometime, yep. and he did all the renovations over there, and it's a similar Mediterranean Revival style. He has mm -hmm. a basement, just like us, and so that'll be great. And he has some advice on the renovation, so yeah. um, that was good. And now we're gonna check. We had some keys made at Ace, and we're gonna check and see if they work on this big gate. No, these are the keys I found. Oh, I didn't even know. So <laughs> found them in a box, unlabeled. Don't know what they went to. They're brand new. Um, and we actually were gonna buy a lock for the gate, but we completely forgot about it because we were buying rat traps and a bunch of other stuff. A bunch of other stuff. Forgot about it. And it works. So now we can lock the gate and we're going to go try the side gate and see if that works. <laughs> Not that we can find the side gate. So Seriously. there's a gate in there somewhere. Sweet. It works. This really is the secret garden moment. Oh, we've never even been over here. <gasps> awesome. Oh, I wish I had my machete. Wish I hadn't broke. Some of these vines have thorns. Well, maybe we'll wait till we have something to cut, them with. cut through that with, but that's so cool. I was wondering how we were gonna get that open. That's awesome, I'm excited. I wanna to get to my fern garden, my little secret fern garden. I'll peek in here. Whoa. So technically that's the front walk. The front door. Um, here's a collection of just a random day of purchases. We uh, got some something to take care of the rats. We got something to take care of our body, meaning that and that. Knee pads and... Um, respirator refills. Yeah, filter for the respirator. Got some new keys. <clears throat> Cut. Um, security light. Some Thermometer. It's already over 90. <laughs> <laughs> some different gloves. And it's raining out. Um, and... Yeah. So, that'll probably be every weekend now routine. We're going to go set some traps. What we're about to show you took place on what felt like one of the hottest and most humid days of our cleanup. We had to keep our project going, but at the end of this day, we both had signs of heat exhaustion. So while you're watching, if it looks like we're going through things quickly, please keep that in mind. And at the end of this video, we'll give you a closer look at some of the favorite things we pulled out of the craft room. Howling upstairs. To open some windows to try and air it out a little bit up there before I go up because it makes me want to puke. So thanks to him for that. But I'm going to tackle this little room. This used to be a porch because this is an outside door and it was at some point converted into a little room. It has jealousy windows. 
So it gives us a little bit of an idea of the age than this it, that this room is. Sorry, I can't breathe very well in here. Um, there's also lots of evidence of rats in here. So you can see lots of rat poo. <laughs> the rats have just chewed through everything. I guess that's just what rats do. So pretty much everything in this room is going to go. There's a cool mirror hanging on the wall. I'm not sure what's up in those cabinets. So that'll be fun to open up in a little bit. But I'm going to bag most of this up. There's some soft pillows, pile of clothes, bunch of stuff that just needs to go away. So I'm going to get to it. We flipped the switch on that electrocuted me yesterday. Um, so that was good. Okay. Was good. So this switch is definitely not grounded. Yeah, this switch was not grounded. Oop, it was the, grounded to my body. The rain just started. Every time we go to record. <laughs> so we're gonna do a reveal of what is in these cabinet cabinets. number one, cabinet number two. And we have some books here, and we have wonder who that is. Okay, you ready? Hopefully, rats don't jump out on me. Ready. Alright. Boxes. See. Put it down on the table. Let me see what's in it. It's Plymouth. I've seen that a lot. I think it's going to be Christmas ornaments. Oh, it's a bunch of random stuff. Whoa. <laughs> Very Whoa. retro. Sewing things. A little triangle. Yeah, a lot of sewing stuff. That must be her sewing box. No, nope. it's. No gold bars there. Surprisingly not moldy. I guess because it was hidden up in the cabinet. Yeah. I think the cleanest thing we found. Okay, box number two. Thread. Thread. So box okay. number one. More thread. More thread. Oh, okay. What about those little tins? I'm going to guess that it's sewing stuff since it's cross stitched. Full cross stitch, that's not real. Embroidered. Needle point. Needle point. Needle point. Oh, more of these. Hmm. Buttons. All buttons. Mm -hmm. Like a rhinestone cowboy. I'll find some little gems in here. <laughs> Probably to all the clothes upstairs. <laughs> Alright, we have one more box. Is it cookies? Oh, more buttons! How cute though, she organized them in the little cookie trays. That's really cute. That's actually a really good idea. Yeah. If you're a crafter. Yeah, there you go. Crafter tip. Tins to open it. A bunch of pins and symbols. Nothing too exciting. And an empty Easter egg. <laughs> right, what about this one? Oh, that ring feels great. Oh, there's something's in there. 
The thing that does not happen. Get the torch. The card open. You may have to do that one. Alright, let's see what is in this cabinet. Just move the chair out of the way in case the rat jumps out of me. I need an escape plan. So here goes. Mm. Bunch of stuff. Oh! I wasn't expecting that. It's a broken belt. <laughs> All of these. Okay. What else we got? Crochet? Oh yeah, that's a big crochet hook. Okay. This one's heavy. Oh, with a box. Whoa, those are some serious scissors. Whoa, I believe those constitute shears. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't know if it's for real, but... An old soup hat box. Well, this is just more, more sewing stuff. Marie sewed all the curtains in the house, so I guess she likes to sew. Ooh. Look at that. What is that? I don't know. Some fancy beautiful. Diamonds? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. something to do when we're not cleaning out this house. We can sew for days. That's my new catchphrase for this house. Neat. I keep saying it. Neat. Neat. Oh, that's neat. Nothing in this house is neat. <laughs> it's a pretty <laughs> ironic catchphrase. Yeah. It's not dying. Alright, oh. so phone's ringing. There yep. we go. There go. There's little stuffed animals everywhere around this house. They're everywhere. All, Mo all Marie's little friends. This is the kind of stuff that scares me. Now that we're getting into it. Yikes. Oh no. Yeah, that's um, not good. Yeah, that's where it's like, that turns the estimate from, you know, 
this many thousand to this many thousand. <sighs> we don't know what it looks like inside of there. They could cut that out, it could be perfect. It could just be a little water damage or be a big old rotten bean that they gotta go in there and replace. I think it's just a little water damage since this used to be like an outdoor porch. Porch. But I don't know what that is. It looks like a burn mark. Weird. Time will tell all. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Pretty soft. Yeah, it looks like this whole board. Well, we're going to keep going. We'll do what we can. Try not to get this arranged. One thing about this room that is kind of neat is you can see where the old windows were, the arches. So we're not totally sure yet the extent of what we're going to have to do once our contractor gets in here, but Hal's planning on using this little space as his writing nook. And so, if it's possible, and if we're going to have to take some of these walls out anyway to redo them, we would love to bring the arched windows back and get rid of these jalousies and put in some nice pretty new windows. So, we'll see what happens. Great, we got this little, um, little porch cleared out and Cupboards are empty. These window coverings are screwed in, so I'll get a screwdriver and get these taken down. I think that the previous owner probably did spend some time sitting in here at this little table, and so all the little things that we found, they were of value to her. And so we just have been thinking about her a lot as we've been doing this. Taking a water break. And a fresh air break. Pro tip, when you're renovating a house in Florida in July, July <laughs> we put these washcloths in the cooler. We got them wet this morning and then put them in the cooler with the ice and it feels mm. so good. Luckily it's been raining today, which has kept the temperature down. Oh, we have a temperature gauge now. So yeah, it was 90. 85. <laughs> Every degree counts. <laughs> <laughs> well, it happened. I was walking up the stairs on my way up to wipe down the doors after I sprayed them with vinegar. And I heard something. I was about halfway up the second flight. And I look and looking right back at me was, oh, I got to take this. Just kidding. <gasps> I haven't a, heard the story yet either. <laughs> was a rat. Where? In the wall? In the hallway. It, and I sprayed him with vinegar and he ran out. <laughs> he ran out the window. <laughs> he was on the ground? Yeah, we were like eye to eye and he jumped up the air conditioning unit and the little hole that's there mm -hmm. ran out the... So, yeah. I was just saying this morning that every time I walk up those stairs, I stomp because I know... I'm going to get to eye level with some. I thought it was going to be a snake because that's where we found the snake skin, but no, it was a rat. Um, so we can add to the list of historical residents at Casa Marie, this colony of rats, plus all of the stuffed animals, and they all need to go. Everything. It smells so bad. It's time to hit the road, rats. All right, I got some of the boxes from the craft room and I'm going to go through them a little bit more thoroughly so we can find out what's inside. vintage buttons. Looks like we're going to have more of these, so I might be able to make a little lot of vintage buttons for Etsy. These are kind of pretty nice. Um, 
more buttons. I have a whole collection of vintage buttons that were from my great grandmother. I used to love looking through them when I was a kid. Got some crochet hooks. Might actually hang on to these. I've been working on a scarf, crocheting it. Haven't had a whole lot of time lately to work on that, but I do like crocheting. Ooh, these are really neat. I like this little tin. More buttons. Clasp. This is probably the biggest button I've ever seen. <laughs> this is pretty. So this box is primarily buttons. Um, I think I'll probably clean these up and put them up in our Etsy shop at Cicada & Co. So if you're interested in any of these, then be sure to check that out. I'll link it below um, in the description when I have that listed. And let's move on to see what's in this box. Oh, before I do, I just pulled these out. These are cute. And then they're paper. They're little shells. I actually don't know what these are, so if anybody knows what that's for, other than being a cute paper shell, let me know. Write it in the comments. Okay, box number two. Ah, more buttons. Now this is really clever. This is a cookie, cookie box. And she left the cookie divider in here and used it to organize all of the buttons. That's a really good idea. These are cute. Orange corduroy buttons. I love those. A lot of interesting ones in here. Oh, there's another orange one that goes over there. Ooh, look at this. Super cute. There's a few of those. All right. Let's see what else we have. Okay, next box. Oh, 
Ah, assorted needles. Very vintage, very cute. More needles. A threader. Oh no, it's just foil. Poor needles. Paris, France. <gasps> we have a letter. It's from 1970 and it is written in French. So we're going to save that for another video. More buttons. Ooh, these are some very large needles for leather and other heavy duty work. Got some Velcro. This is a cute little tin. Dorcas Dressmaker Steel Pins. Yep, that's what's still in there. Really love this little tin. Colors are so cute. Taylor's chalk. Little sewing machine light bulb, I think. Ooh, look at this little illustration. That's about it for this box. There's all the thread. Really pretty color palette. Sunset. More thread. We have a McCall's pattern, which Looks like it's in pretty good condition um, on the inside and this dress is actually really cute could totally still wear that I wonder what year this is from two dollars and fifty cents so not super old um, 1980 well so about 44 years old I guess that is kind of old, <laughs> um, depending how old you are in your perspective, but I like it. I think it's a really cute dress. 
And then this is pretty useful. This is a learn how to book and it has crochet, knitting, tatting, embroidery, all in the same book. So this is pretty useful and I think I might just hang on to this. That's pretty. So I think we know now where all the doilies in the house came from. <laughs> Notes on knitting. Mittens. That's cute. Making a seam. Turning the heel on a sock. This one was 50 cents, so my guess is this one's a little bit older. Let's see. 1975. So this will either go up on Etsy or I'm going to keep it to brush up on my crochet and knitting. This is very cool. That one's probably going to find its way to Etsy. So if you like this one, um, check out the links in the description and when I have this listed, you'll be able to find it there. Little um, Windsor and Newton watercolor set made in England. I'm sure these are still fine if you just um, add water to them. They'll reconstitute and they'll probably look great. So that's pretty cool. Made in England. Best for every lighter. Bronson Flints. Got a really neat old screwdriver. You could probably use this in the house to take some things out of the walls. Um, we got a little stapler, swing line. Chalk pastels. Wow, these are really beautiful. They're still just as brilliant as they were when they were made, and these would still these would still be good. You do need to be careful when you're drawing with chalk pastels that you have ventilation. It's really not good to breathe this dust in. So um, either work outside or work somewhere uh, with a classroom or an art studio with ventilation. Um, don't breathe this stuff in for too long. But they are really, really beautiful. I love these. Oh, and here's a little piece of sample art paper. Made in the USA, Chicago Heights, Illinois. Weber Costello Co. Look at that little illustration. That's cute. Not sure what's in here. Aha. Uh -huh. These are, these look very old. Um, so my first guess is these are some draw, some kind of drawing implements. This looks like a compass to me. I'm I'm just guessing this because it was in with all the other art supplies. And it looks like the lead goes in there. 
but I don't know. I could be completely off on this one. Um, I'm pretty familiar with a lot of art supplies, but this... Has me a little stumped, but that really does seem like a compass to me. We're going to have to look this one up and figure out what this is. But if you know, then help us out and comment below. I think that the previous owner, I know she was an artist, and... I'm pretty sure her father was an artist, too, because we found some really old sketches in the house that I think were from him. Um, which I, I'll show you at some point, um, either at the end of this video, uh, or if I can't find them today, then I will I'll be sure that we get those out there sometime. But, um, I don't know. Maybe these are hers, maybe they're his. Let us know what you think. Snaps. It's a whole bunch of snaps. And the paint brushes. These are so cool. Palette knife. So I know that you all have heard us talking about the the studio inside and we're calling it the studio because it's actually going to be my art studio and my photography studio. So a lot of these art related things I really love and these some of them you know are not really useful anymore but I just think they're beautiful and I will probably put these in a vase and just have them in my studio for inspiration because I just really love the look of an old paintbrush there's just nothing like this you know somebody spent hours using these to be creative and express themselves and I just love it. These paintbrushes have told so many stories so I'm going to hang on to these. These are some very serious shears. These are really good. So I could probably sharpen these up and they'd be really useful to somebody. And let's see, finally here I have, what is in here? Oh, Ooh. some little patches and appliques. Those are really sweet. These look like a good Etsy item to me, so if you would like to to have these. I'll link these down in the description also once I have them listed in the Etsy shop. That's really pretty. I love these. That's so cute. And this one's really beautiful too. This one's a little bit more delicate. And then finally, I think this is a belt. Um, I'm not going to take it out of here because it's totally falling apart, but um, looks like it was a leather belt. The leather is kind of hard and cracked now, but these beads are glass and they're really pretty. 
So I'll hang on to these and wash them up and put these in the Etsy shop too. So if you'd like some pretty vintage glass beads, this color blue is really, really pretty in person. I don't know if it's translating on camera, but it's really beautiful. So I'm going to list those two and you can find them in the link in the description. I just realized how neat this bag is that the paintbrushes were in. Protect your hands with Mayfair. Household gloves, cotton lined, sanitized. These are 98 cents and they're made in France. These are so beautiful. Okay, we have a few things left. This is not in the best condition. It does have a rip here, but I held on to it because I really like the illustration on it. And this is super cool. There's a Louvre sticker on it from Paris. There's a little hanger. So this was just hanging, hanging up in the house and I held on to it. Not sure what we'll do with it. Maybe throw it up on Etsy if anybody wants it. Um, but that's so cool. So I have this book for making. Um, I guess this is the, the embroidery that's on her sweater. But this is all in French. <laughs> So I can't read this one, but I still think it's really neat. I like these old photographs. That sweater's actually really cute. So if you knew how to speak French and you liked knitting, then maybe this is for you. I'll put this in the Etsy shop too. Okay, one of my favorite things that we found in the house is this old art box. It has these really cute little latches. It has a key, which I have a bunch of keys inside and I haven't found the one yet that goes to this box. I don't know if it still exists, but this is a little painting kit. This is just so cool. It has some oil paints in it that they're no good anymore but um and the palette is kind of it's kind of stuck in there because all of the paints are underneath but i'm definitely going to clean this up because this is really cool i just love it and finally i wanted to show you this is a sketchbook that we found in the house I wanted to show you some of the sketches. Well, that's it. The rest of the sketchbook is empty, but I hope you enjoyed that little peek inside the creative mind of the previous owner of Casa Marie. We'll be back again soon with more. Thanks for watching.